Hi, good morning. I am Chris, your Holistic Living and Stress Mastery Coach. Today, I want to talk about one of my favorite topics in the whole wide world, and that is food. I love food. I don't know about you. There's nothing I can't eat. Donuts, pizza, even the healthy ones, the supposed healthy ones, you know, the vegetables, the fruits. I eat practically anything. And when I'm eating, I spend enough time on my food, enjoying my food. So, diets and I, we don't get along. And beyond just me and diets, all right, even ethically, diets do you more harm than good. So today I want to explain to you why dieting is really not your friend. And when we talk about that, because we throw diet, the word around all the time, you know, what's your diet like? How is your diet? You should change your diet. You should improve your diet. You should work on your diet. You know, diet, 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 diet. But for most people, dieting is about restrictions. It's about fasting from a particular kind of food. And most times, the type of food they are told to fast from or the type of food they are restricted from eating is the type that you actually love to eat. You know, with all this wellness and healthy eating propaganda, the idea is we have some good foods and we have some bad foods. In reality, there's really no good food or bad food per se. Everything has the potential to be good. Everything has the potential to be bad. It all depends on how you do your eating. Moderation, as you say, is always key, all right? Moderation is always key, and this applies to your food. So there's really nothing wrong with you having your cakes or your chocolates or your pizzas or even, you know, the very juicy, messy hamburgers, all right? There's really nothing wrong with that. But what is wrong is depriving yourself of what you need or what you like. The first rule I tell people is this. Separate the kinds of food that you like from the kinds of food that you don't like. Find out why you like this particular type of food and why you don't like that particular type of food. Then find a way of striking a balance, especially when the type that you don't like is beneficial to you. How do you then strike that balance? When you like a particular kind of food and you're forbidden from eating it because you are on a diet, you find that you begin to develop cravings. You begin to have these urges that, ah, you're missing out on something. And it's a normal reaction, right? So when you have that slight opportunity to just be in the presence of that forbidden fruit, you find that you are, you know, you, you, you're just binging on it. You eat and eat and overeat. A lot of people who are on restrictive diets, usually, once they stop those diets, they go back to their previous weight. That's if they eventually lost the weight anyway. Now, other people you find are always angry, always frustrated, always depressed, always complaining about cheat days. And that is one word that I cannot stand. Cheat days, when you're trying to be healthy, already you're sending a message to your brain that something is wrong somewhere. There are no cheat days. There's only days that you decided to eat this and days you decided not to eat that. If you're on a healthy eating regimen, continue in that way. If you have cravings, indulge in your cravings. Again, we talk about moderation. It's all about moderation. Um, I don't know if I did an episode where I talked about fruits, how fruits can also be detrimental to your well-being. We've had people who talk about fruits are very healthy for you, so you need to be eating fruits all the time. But we've also seen people who are on a diet of fruits but consistently are adding weight and consistently are dealing with issues that have to do, deal with um, lifestyle health challenges like diabetes, all right? So it's not about what you eat, but it's about how you eat it. So learn to be very, very considerate of your body type, of your needs, of your wants, and of your likes. The first rule, do not ever forbid yourself from eating what you like, because it will backfire in the long run. And I'm sure you can share stories with me where maybe you have been on diets and you've been told not to eat a particular type of food that you love. Now, for this part of the world that we're in, all right, we love our swallows. We love our carbohydrates. But there are some diets that tell you do not eat those things. And it's kind of like punishing because you find that in the environment, everywhere you turn to, that is the food you see. So what it does for you is further remind you of what it is that you're missing and putting you under pressure, 
all right? So depression sets in, frustration sets in, stress sets in, and ultimately you go back to binging on what it is you've been forbidding to eat. So today, do yourself a favor. Scrap all the diets that you're on. Scrap everything. I don't want to mention the diet, but scrap everything, everything that restricts your eating, especially if it has nothing to do with a medical history. Scrap it and start again by loving your foods, by eating with moderation, eating intentionally, and eating as though you're falling in love with yourself all over again. And then you see the difference that will make in your weight. And that's it for me today. I'm going to come back again next episode talking about a more fabulous topic. So, bye. Have yourself a fantastic day.